Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss engineering mechanics topic. It is Lamis theorem. We can apply this theorem only for three forces. First condition is yes. it has three forces. I am taking F1 force, F2 force, F3 force. These three forces are acting at one point. If all forces or three forces are acting at one point means these forces are called concurrent forces. So next condition for applying Lamis theorem is after three forces, these three forces are concurrent forces. And next condition for applying Lamis theorem is these all the forces, three forces should be in equilibrium. Okay, these are called equilibrium forces. Means after applying all the three forces, this C point is at the same place. Okay, it is a at constant place. So at that time we can call all the three forces are equilibrium forces. So these are the three conditions for applying the Lamis theorem. So according to this theorem, we can find any two unknown forces. Let us assume these two are the unknown forces. We know only one force, F1 force. We can find these two unknown forces by using this force. Let us assume we know the F2 force in next example. We don't know these two values. We can find these two forces by using this given force. Like that we can find the unknown forces in this Lamis theorem. Here let us take the angles also between two forces. I am taking opposite of F1 means here this angle. I am taking and we can take any angle. I am taking alpha 1. Okay, F1 opposite angle is alpha 1. This angle is angle between another two forces. Okay. And now take this angle F2 F1. This is opposite to F3. So I am taking this is the alpha 3 angle. So this angle is opposite to F2. So I am taking alpha 2. It is not necessary always alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Any given values you can take. Okay. According to this Lamis theorem, the magnitude of the force is proportional to the opposite angle that is angle between another two forces okay according to this law the magnitude of this force is proportional to sine of angle between another two forces okay so f1 is proportional to sine of alpha 1 similarly f2 is proportional to the angle sine of the angle between another two forces okay so if you write here similarly f3 is proportional to sine of alpha 3 here i wrote f1 is proportional to sine of another two forces angle it is alpha 1 okay and then f2 is proportional to sine of alpha 2 and similarly f3 is proportional to sine of alpha 3 okay here we can write according to the Lamis theorem so for removing this proportionality we can keep some constant here some k here so we will get f1 is equal to k sine alpha 1 similarly for this f2 is k sine alpha 2 f3 is k sine alpha 3 so instead of k we can write f1 by sine alpha 1 in this equation, instead of k, we can write f2 by sin alpha 2. k is equal to f3 by sin alpha 3. Like this. Okay. In all these three equations, k is constant. So, this k, this k, this k. So, we can write f1 by sin alpha 1 is equal to f2 by sin alpha 2 is equal to f3 by sin alpha 3 is equal to k. Okay. These ratios are same. So, this here I wrote, this is the Lamis theorem. First force by sin of angle between another two forces. Similarly, second force it is the sign of opposite angle f3 divided by sign of opposite angle so we are applying this lamis theorem for finding the forces okay if any two unknown forces are there one non force we can find f2 and f3 similarly if you know f2 we can find f1 f3 like that so here for applying the lamis theorem these are the three condition three forces should be there and these three forces are concurrent forces and these three forces are equilibrium forces